Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love read. This is for July 20th through the 26th. However, time is fluid, so whenever you stumble upon this, that is when you are meant to find it. Um, if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will come back to these videos at the end of next week, and who, whichever video gets the most loving contributions, I will release a bonus video. I am doing Libra. Um, today as the bonus video. Also, the goal is to get to a thousand subscribers so I can do those bonus readings live, okay? Um, by contributing to me, it is a gift and I appreciate that and I um, acknowledge that sometimes that's not so easy to do, okay? Um, do not push this to into resonating if it does not um, if it does and you want to see the flip side energy of this, I have a link in the description box for my Patreon Extended Program. Okay, the Patreon Extended Program um, is $5 a month. It gives you all of the extendeds for the month. Okay, and then um, you also get bonus readings that I do throughout the month. Okay, sometimes I do a bonus reading that everyone gets. Sometimes it's just for my Patreon members. All right. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I start off by pulling a card for the collective from my Mindset Unicorn deck. This is a deck I created of channeled messages two years ago for my clients and myself. I just added another 24 cards to the deck, so it's now a 54 card deck, okay? Um, so even if this is not your message, you are getting something from the for the collective, okay? Then I will pull intention for this reading, and then I will lay out the foundation and go through all of that. All right. After I go through everything, I will clarify the foundation. After I clarify the foundation, I will dig deeper through, guided by spirit, as a medium, into what you need to know. Um, I may be reading some of the cross energies, okay? So if it feels like it's a flip energy, take that as well. Um, if it's light to you, you know that it's your truth. If it's not, let it go. Um, as an intuitive, I may not read the cards the way you expect, okay? If you do not want an intuitive reading and you want, you know, specifically what the card meaning is, I may not be for you, and I honor that within you, okay? So let's get started here for Virgo, all right? Virgo. Okay. Oh, Virgo, you got two of the new cards. Okay. All right. Pay attention. Hmm. That's very nice, Virgo. was about to say, Virgo, you're about to make me cry. But almost. Okay, let me get my glasses on here. So the cards for the collective, okay, are two of my new cards. You get moon and pause, all right? So moon, what has been hidden is reflected in your higher knowledge it is not truly hidden, but shines in your intuition today. Okay, that's the channeled message. The quote, the moon will guide you through the night with her brightness, but she will always dwell in the darkness in order to be seen. Okay, so there is definitely a higher knowing, okay, within you, and that um, your intuition probably is on fire today, all right? You also get pause. So the channeled message is, today you step back and pause, looking for a new perspective on anything that has been blocking your movement forward. The quote, under trees, the urban dweller might restore his troubled soul and find 
a blessing of a creature or of a creative pause so okay part of this could just be that you suddenly maybe had the ability to go out into nature okay and you're like oh, standing in the sun that was me okay standing in the sun enjoying things um mm. but also you could be this is kind of that sort of hangman high priestess hermit sort of energy where you have stepped back to pause now you could be taking a small pause just before you start anew okay because you're coming to a completion you're coming to an end of a cycle <coughs> that's my asthma that is spirit saying that someone needed to know that they are coming to a completion okay um, this is an ending of a cycle that generally when you end the cycle like that it's not going to come back all right overall energy is that new beginning okay here is that ace of pentacles that new beginning that new start new foundation however it's going into a little bit of a storm okay oftentimes when we start anew all right we're starting new and we might have then more lessons to learn okay past energy four of wands this is one of my twin flame cards okay so um mirroring happening um definitely a divine soulmate connection and it could have been that this person coming along in your past is what brought you to the completion of a cycle all right current energy knight of swords where you are trying to move forward this truth, but it's happening very, very slowly, okay? There could be someone that is still trying to block you, okay, from moving forward. Future energy, all right? This could be in some of that triggering energy, some of that mirror energy, okay, where you are obsessing on this cup, okay, obsessing wondering when it's going to happen i'm going to tell you right here and now twin flame energy as much as it is the most amazing thing on the planet for the ascension process and for your heart when it's in alignment it is also the most brutal you can be with a soulmate for your whole life and have it be you know blissful and just easy you will not have just blissful and easy with your twin flame okay and the underlying energy of this four of cups okay that came out is the knight of cups okay so trying to come together into union is definitely taking time and i feel like um you know that's probably why you're paused okay okay so this ace of pentacles okay this new beginning was definitely a beginning from an end of a cycle okay heart healing a lot of things that you went through you were ready for this okay i feel like this happened very quickly okay that the acceleration within this happened very quickly and now you are just holding on to this truth okay you're holding on to this truth that you want to take forward and you're not fighting it you're just going with it all right This card just took out the collective. And what is this card? Okay, old paradigm of commitment. Okay, this person coming along into your life, this twin flame, really shook up your foundation. Okay, this is teaching you about love and commitment in a way that you would never have expected. All right, yes it brought forth new actions okay with this ace of wands 
and definitely puts you into this overwhelming Four of Cups energy. Okay, this was meant for that heart healing. You needed to heal in order to move through that end of cycle, okay? I feel like you feel deeply, deeply rooted within this energy, okay? Where you are like, this is the one. And, all right, I feel like it's almost like this person has always been there. It's almost like this person feels like someone that has been with you from childhood, okay? And that doesn't mean they literally have to have been, but there's an energy that you've carried around since childhood, okay? And it's what you've been asking for again and again and again of your higher self. And now you're finally ready for this. And so now that you're ready for this, you're having this return, okay, of this, this childhood energy, this happiness that you would have, I feel like, at play, thinking about this person, okay? This is definitely creating a rebirth here for you, moving you out of pain, okay? Ten of Swords, moving you out of pain because it's now coming true. But you are, again, taking this pause. This is where that pause is coming in, okay? There is a little bit of a storm coming forth on the horizon here. And with the King of Swords here, okay, this is your divine counterpart that is going through, all right, and mirroring you. They're not fighting against this, okay? They're holding on to this truth, but there's no major action coming forward, okay? You get that? And what did I say, right? Rebirth, and here's the death card, okay? And the future energy and the tower, okay? So all of this is happening as it should, okay? To move you, to trigger you, all right, into this rebirth. Yeah, this obsession about this person, you're in a tower moment, okay? Uh, for you, it could be, okay, dark night of the soul energy, and you're being reminded to keep pulling on that playful childlike energy, okay? That is what will get you through this. That is what will get you um, connected in the way that is for your highest good. So again, I feel like, okay, this end of the cycle was really about a decision, okay, about going forward, leaping forward towards this. And um, it definitely brought you into balance at first, okay? However, then there was like a realization of, you know, this divine relationship is moving so quickly, okay? And things started to crumble and you had to pull back into that Nine of Pentacles energy where I've got to take the time, okay, to work on me, okay, because um, no one else is going to work on me, right? And so you're holding on, okay, to this truth, all right, that you feel like you have to make a decision here, but you don't want to because it, it could cause pain, all right, and you've had enough pain to get to this point, you don't want any more, all right, but know that this foundation, okay, is being created underneath you and the King of Swords, okay, there is this foundation that is coming forward, and it's almost like the universe is saying, um, we can slow this down a little bit, but you can't stop this. 
Yeah, this past energy, okay? This person coming in, it was divine timing. You were meant to release those old paradigms, okay? If you released someone in this, you were meant to release that to someone, okay? You were meant to dump out that cup, that cup and start moving towards this new possibility and suddenly know that there were other possibilities out there that could come in and nourish you in a way that you just didn't realize. Okay, again, you are very deeply rooted into this. You are standing your ground because this is bringing back happiness. Okay, I feel like whatever you were going through in the past when this person came along, you were in a situation where there was no like real working together. Okay, the energy wasn't flowing. You had called on the universe to bring you a balance. Okay, this person is your balance. Okay, this person is bringing this rebirth about. Okay, and I feel like it started the rebirth by bringing in if you look at these four cards, what do you see in all of them? Like, it's all fiery. Fire, 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 fire. And I feel like it all started passionately, okay? But what it's doing is it's bringing forth this new love, like this new love beginning for the two of you, okay? Okay, current energy here, all right? Again, you've got that feeling of happiness that came back, all right? And you're trying to hold on to that, okay? To get rid of all of this pain that you're feeling inside. But you are feeling pulled, okay, into your head a lot with this. There is a lot of chaos going on within here. You keep trying to pull into your heart and your foundation and balance yourself. And I'm going to tell you to keep doing that, okay? Because all of this energy that you're feeling, this is tower for you, okay? This could easily bring up things that you have not wanted to deal with, all right? A lot of it having to do with the passion that's coming in here, the intimacy, that feeling, okay? Being able to pull in your inner strength that you, okay, so you in your solar plexus okay you are in the power i feel like for some there was abuse in your past where your uh, power house and your throat chakra were blocked okay and so when this person comes at you with this passion there's almost like this limitation of intimacy Okay, where you are terrified to open up that to this person. And this is about regaining the power. This tower is regaining that power within your powerhouse and your throat chakra. Okay, in order to have the strength to move forward in this relationship. Because the underlying energy here is that you are highly guarded towards it right now. All right. And so King of Swords... Okay, clarified by the King of Swords. This person isn't going anywhere, okay? But they are, again, mirroring you, okay? They are fearful of commitment as well. Their intuitive knowing is that this is meant for them, but they are not connecting to it because they see you not making any actions forward, all right? So they are feeling all of this. However, again, this new beginning, this new energy, this rebirth coming forward is because you both are healing yourselves, okay, for that new beginning as the lovers. Your person may be still bound to something that they have to release. This doesn't have to be a person. It can be a belief. It can be a, you know, a poor job choice. Um, maybe they're trying to sell a house. Whatever's coming up for you, 
that this person has to release, they are not truly bound to it. The tower moment will clarify that for them, okay, and they will be able to get rid of the past, okay. When they do, there you will be standing with that truth, okay. So I do feel like that this is going to move forward, all right, but you guys are in that phase right now where there is a lot of hard energies, Okay, yet again, it has died at the end. So, okay, yes, there is going to be some victory within this. There is going to be this coming together with this equal duality, okay? Whatever this is that has this person bound, they're going to have to go through that tower moment to release it, okay? But... That's okay because this pentacle is creating a transformation, okay? This new beginning is creating this transformation. It's removing a lot of the deception within you. Um, and I feel like, again, it was meant to be. This is divine timing, okay? Okay, shock of the new, okay? There is this awakening within you that is opening up your heart opening up your throat chakra you're seeing things in a much different way okay on the other side of this completion um it is all new okay but you are um moving past things that you are being meant to move past all right you have healed your heart guard it vigilantly okay the growth of this relationship guard that vigilantly all right 24 2 plus 4 is 6 this card is a 6 okay 6 this is a an energy moving together look up angel number 666 okay this is about being past the conflict you may be feeling all of the triggering and everything from this mirroring with this person okay but you are past the fives you are past the conflict okay this storm is about going through the six seven eight nine to get to the ten all right it's a beautiful thing and um i hope that you will acknowledge that within yourself okay so i'm going to move to the extended see what's going on with this person and i hope to see you there all right bye